You've got to start with the customer experience and work backwards to the technology. I wish you could hear what I hear. They sound so good. In case you're watching this without having seen the title, these are the Edifier R1280TS courtesy of Edifier. But only for the purpose of posting to my IG, this review is all on me. I only accept items I can share with value. If I get it and it does turn out bad, I'll tell you. And there are other 1280 models that have uh, various different features. This is like the middle model. The sound is full, rich, deep, it's smooth. It's ideal for easy listening. The bass and treble can be adjusted on the speaker itself, as well as the volume. And this is a very refined sound, especially at their price point of $120. They make a big sound for such a little speaker. You can save a lot of space if you're limited on your desk space, or you just want smaller speakers with a big sound that have that pro speaker aesthetic. And I'm gonna talk about the speaker's features, their sound and walk through setting them up, but I'm also gonna get some trained ears on these. My guy Mook Beats, Atlanta-based music producer, who's worked with Young Thug, Party Next Door, Black, London Dre, T.I., Post Malone, Eric Thomas, CNN, HBO. He's a big deal, but he'd never tell you that. Because with these having a pretty budget price point at 120, could the creator rely on these as a budget option for sound monitors? And his thoughts will really matter because he, on the regular, uses pricey, pro-grade, fancy studio sound monitors. And we'll let him play with these while he cooks up and then give us his thoughts. So I'm gonna tell you a little more about these and my thoughts and then we'll pack them up and go see him. So these speakers can only be plugged in via RCA or RCA2 auxiliary. Unlike its older sister, the R1280 dBs, they do have a Bluetooth option. But I knew I needed speakers just to be in my workspace. And so I was totally fine with these just hooking up to my PC and the wood finish adds a very sophisticated like pop to the area. And having that aux connection just makes it that easy. You just plug and play. And I really want to couple these with the Edifier T5 subwoofers. Well, yeah, these do have a sub connection out for an even bigger, even more rich sound than what these even give you alone. So once I get those, I'll actually review those too. So what comes in the box with these? You get mesh covers, and depending on your preference, and I prefer having them off at my desk, I'm a bigger fan of exposing those tweeters and that driver. I like seeing the, I guess, machinery, I don't know. But maybe if it were like on a bookshelf or like an end table, I'd put the mesh cover on, because I think this look would blend better sort of in the living room area, but then you, would probably want to protect what's inside of the speaker in more high traffic areas. There's also speaker wire and RCA cables for connecting to TVs, turntables, radios, etc. And then there's the RCA to aux cable I mentioned where you can put that in your PC or a laptop or your non-lightning headphone, wait, non-lightning port headphone jack. With the lightning port, you can still snag that $10 adapter and plug these up to your phone. And then boom, you're the house party DJ. And there's a controller that powers them on and off. They control the volume and mute. And on the remote, you have the option to turn on or off a feature that these speakers have called sound field extension. Yeah, with these speakers, that feature is meant to simulate being in a large space or a sound stage, like you're actually at an event. And it actually does a decent job at it, but it's more important that I tell you what it means for you when you're sitting at your desk or it's sitting on your bookshelf. So with this feature, it really emphasizes the voice and brings it up as like the main sound of the song. And it gives some of the background instruments some shine as well, but it does really dilute the more bassy sounds of the music. So it's basically like there's a dramatic rise in treble and they've dialed it back some on the bass. And so yeah, there are places where that feature sounds great when it's on and there are places where it doesn't, at least in my opinion. So I'll start with where it does a good job. I think it really makes podcasts sound more crisp. It gives it like a clarity boost. Since like I said, it really brings those voices forward. This feature also sounds great with you're more vocal listening, like listening to Sid and the internet and Billie Eilish and Janae Aiko, beautiful. It really highlighted their voices and still made for good, easy listening. So I'd imagine that these probably sound great with like rock and pop tracks too. But I'd say listen to hip hop and more bassy music with it off. The rich bass does matter with these sounds and it's a lot more balanced when that feature is off to listen to like hip hop and rap. 
and to me it literally just doesn't sound great the song it kind of like the song breaks apart but every listener has their preferences so you can play around with it and you can still fine tune and tweak it for the way you want to listen to it in your space now i wonder how to hook these up so in case you aren't sure you use your speaker wire to connect the two pairs of speakers then use your ketchup and mayonnaise rca line put that into your line one you can save your line two for whenever you want to go out to a sub speaker but yep you'll take your line one cable and plug the auxiliary end of the cable into your pc or your laptop or your phone now let's take these back apart and go over to see how i got move beats i also want y'all to check out my guy tech over at dad life gaming who also has a dope review on these very same speakers and you can check out his opinion if you're still on the fence about pulling the trigger on these speakers if you're researching for that reason All right, we in the Move Beats Joker's Lounge. What's up, everybody? Thank y'all for joining me here. What's going on? So I let Mook borrow the 1280 TSs. Mm -hmm. um, they're on top of his, what, what model speakers are these? Those are called Yamaha HS8s. And how much were those? Um, those are, these run for about 300 to 350 per speaker. So about 700 together. <laughs> All right, so these versus the pair of speakers <laughs> that cost 120 together. With the mm -hmm. times you spent with the speakers, what do you think of their sound accuracy and quality? Um, honestly, I'm always quite surprised. Um, they sound actually pretty good to be smaller, well affordable speakers. In my sound monitors, I look for um, two things. One, to see how clear and full it makes the music sound. And I also look to see how the, the high frequencies and the low frequencies match together. Okay, so yeah, so for an example, the high frequency um, sounds would be something like the clap, um, a whistle, something with a higher pitch sound. Now the low frequencies are sounds like the kick, the 808 of course, the boom, the bap, and all of that good stuff. Something with a lower feel. Actually a good example, any sound that makes a vibration, a low vibration, those are considered the uh, low frequency sounds. My favorite thing about the speaker is that they get loud, they sound pretty clear when they are loud, and the only thing that I have a concern or a dislike, I guess you can say about them, is the low end that they put out. But that's only because of the profession um, that I'm in. If you were a content creator or a beat maker on a budget, yes or no, would you recommend these? Yeah, 100%. Because like I said, they sound pretty good. They, these are great computer monitors. And I might actually get myself a pair just for whenever I want to push out ideas. So 100%, I would definitely um, recommend these speakers. You heard it from the award-winning Mook Beats. Thank you, guys. values audio quality and sound <laughs> accuracy. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me. You'll be seeing some more Mook Beats. We're going to head back in my office for a second. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so you heard it here. The Edifier 1280 TSs are a super solid budget sound monitor option and just an overall great purchase for general use for both listening, video editing, etc. Thanks, Edifier, for hooking me up with these in and these out. You were actually right on time. I was in the market um, to replace my hardened card and sound sticks that I got in like 2018 something. Uh, appreciate you, Mook, for taking the time with these speakers and monitors to give me a real professional audio files opinion. And in case you haven't noticed, I am in a totally different room. So in the middle of shooting and editing the Edifier review, I switched spaces downstairs for a very special reason that we'll talk about later. I think this card is running out of memory. And so uh, if you like this, please like, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Peace.